Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Dorbin number 57D dark brown aluminum interlocking threshold. The 57 is representative of the profile. The D stands for the fact that this is Dorbin's dark brown finish, also available in the mill finish, mill finish aluminum, and that would be a 57A. This is an interlocking threshold, and what that means is that the door mechanically interlocks to this feature here of the threshold. And let's go over how that's accomplished. You've got this threshold. Let me give you the dimensional properties first before we show you the mechanical interlock. It's three and a half wide by five eighths tall, and there's an image below this video showing those important dimensional properties. Three and a half by five eighths. And the 57 is a fairly common style. Yep, 57 by five eighths. Now, how does that interlock work? Well, you're going to attach to the bottom of the door what's called a hook strip. This is the Dorbin 32Z, I believe. Let me check that. Because the hook strips can be bought individually or as a standalone product. Yes, 32Z as in zinc. This is a hook strip. We also call it a J hook. You can see using your imagination why we do that. Okay. Okay. This is nailed to the bottom of the door. This is a piece of zinc material, and that will be common and standard when it comes to aluminum thresholds, meaning if you were to buy a solid architectural bronze or brass version of an interlock threshold, this piece would be bronze as well. But when it's aluminum base, it'll be zinc. You can see that there's a little giddy up right here. It's not completely flat or flush there, and that's so that the head of the nails have a recessed area to sit into. Nails are included. They're like a number four by seven eighths wafer head or a flattened head item. I'm going to show you those nails uh, right now. And here are what the nails look like. And that's obviously going to be used to attach, nail this to the bottom of your wood door. Okay. You'll get enough uh, to install this, probably more than necessary as well. Uh, d the dimensional properties of the hook strip, let's go over that. Overall width, it's about 7 eighths. Overall height of the hook, it's about a quarter inch. You can see the area there, about a quarter inch. And, you know, if the center of your lip is about an eighth of an inch, meaning if the center of the lip is about an eighth of an inch below the door, you'll have room for that hook strip and that hook strip will mate very well with the threshold and that's exactly this is exactly what happens so this is attached to the bottom of the door when the door closes obviously you obtain that sort of a seal I mean, you can just get the concept as to how positive of a seal that you're going to achieve with that obviously metal on metal is not thermally high performance in terms of transmission of energy, but when it comes to keeping out moisture, wind, a mechanical interlock is superior in that regard. People love interlocking thresholds because they're so effective. Yep, it still wasn't made of glass. And people who have used them in the past are very prone to ordering them in the future or attempting to coordinate the inclusion of an interlocking threshold into future doors. Now, a hallmark of interlocking thresholds is that positive connection. Other interlocking thresholds from Dorbin are wider and they're higher. When you get into a higher type, something that's maybe seven eighths or an inch and a quarter, this berm area here obviously goes higher. And what can be done is a hole can be drilled into this feature here, and then a notch is filed in the face of the threshold 
to provide for a water return sort of concept, meaning that any water that would get inside of the berm here would exit underneath and then back out, uh, a feature that can be done with taller uh, interlock thresholds. You wouldn't do it here because really there's no you know, cap capture for the water to go out and around. There can be an option for a water pan. Simply think of it as a very thin piece of sheet metal, either aluminum or brass, that would just sit underneath the threshold to provide a barrier between any water that did get under the threshold and whatever sill, wood or stone, whatever it's sitting on. Okay. Now, interlocking weather stripping from Dorbin is not only just thresholds. They can do nested hooks that you can do on the uh, perimeter of a door, well, primarily the strike side and the header. The hinge side usually has a rib strip that is mortised into uh, or surface mounted on the frame, but then that rib will, will insert into a mortise or a kerf, really, that's been done in the edge of the door. So Dorbin has a comprehensive offering of interlocking thresholds. I find them elegant because of how high performance of an interlock and seal that they provide. They are incredibly long lasting. I have seen interlock thresholds that are decades old. And really the only time that you have any trouble is if the, well, the hook strip becomes damaged, either with extreme fatigue or you might unintentionally damage it by opening the door up over an obstacle on the inside and damaging the hook strip. Or you might unhang the door to change carpeting or to paint and you put the door down and you crush the hook strip. That's not uncommon. You can buy this alone. Uh, as a replacement item. Very simple to do that. That's no problem at all. Purchasing that, that on its own. Uh, this is going to be also something that you can install where the hook strip is attached literally to the bottom of the door. You could also mortise the door so that the inside face will hang down a little bit further. So you're going to create a mortise in the bottom of the door give you an idea of what I'm speaking about. So you could mortise the bottom of your door to make it look like this rather than just like that. So there'd be two ways to do uh, the hook strip. This is far more common naturally, but this is not uncommon. So keep that in mind as well. Now, the, I told you that the uh, Dorbin is available, uh, the 57 can be done also in a mill aluminum finish, uh, in addition to the D finish for dark brown. I'm going to pull up the catalog here and see if it's available in the solid architectural bronze as well. And while I'm doing that, keep in mind that uh, the hook strip is always included when you buy an interlock. The nails are included. I'll show you the screws for the threshold in a moment you will always be getting the um, hook strip based on the width or the length of the threshold. Meaning, if you have a single threshold that's up to four foot, they're going to give you a single hook strip that's up to four foot. Uh, if you get over four, like if you ordered a five foot, they're going to give you two 30 inch hook strips. If you have a four foot double door, specify in the comment field, ship two 24 inch hook strips. But it will be assumed when you're over 24, pardon me, over 48 inch wide that you're doing a double door. The 57B is, I'm confirming that it is available in solid architectural bronze. And onto that base material, you're going to be able to uh, order it in either a mill finish, in a satin 606 brass, a satin brass or 606 finish a polished brass, which would be 605, or an oil rub bronze, 613. Dorbin can also do this as a Chicago Fire Black, they call it. It will be a black finish on solid ar architectural bronze. Um, so a lot of options in that regard uh, for finishes. And of course, base materials. Our solid bronze is the kind of threshold that will literally last. It's not, I've seen them that are 100 years old. It's not unheard of to see them that old. Uh, now. Several different lengths this threshold is available in, in the website. If you have need for a custom length, by all means let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to ship the material out at. Now the reasoning is this. 
Uh, if you t had to take this 48 inch piece and cut it down to say 42 inch, you'd eliminate that countersink that's there. The next one's all the way over here. Okay, so you're stuck cutting it and countersinking it, and you do get a fairly good, not fairly good, you get a, a, a good factory edge on that cut. You may not want to cut that, is the bottom line. So if you ordered a custom length, would not only cut it to length, because this is being made out of 14 foot extrusions anyway, and give you that countersink at the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center as well. Now the hook strip, that's made of steel. Um, well, let me check that. No, it's not magnetic, so this will be zinc. Uh, nonetheless, it's ferrous. Uh, in the, well, it's not ferrous in the sense that it attracts a magnet, but it will take a different tool to cut than a piece of aluminum. I don't know that I'd want to use tin snips on that because you're going to kind of damage and crimp the hook strip over. So keep that in mind. Ordering a special length has its advantages, and it really doesn't increase the lead time at all. I said that I would show you the screws, and here they are. Complementary finish, about number 10 by inch and a half flat head uh, wood screws, very common. Interlocking thresholds, they're an elegant solution. They seal very well. They're known to be incredibly long lasting. And if you provide a very solid threshold installation down to the floor where it's properly installed um, and your door is plumb and your installation is correct and years down the road if the door begins to become un not plumb or the frame is moved and it's now more of a parallelogram address that issue because that's where the undue uh, wear and tear begins on an interlock system especially if you have it on the perimeter as well the, the jams and the header if you mitigate that problem immediately you'll enjoy an outrageously long installation time with an interlock threshold a lot of people will also install them because that's what their old house had and they're just going with what what they know worked there'll be people who will do an interlock in architectural bronze solid bronze which is which is far more expensive than aluminum based but the logic sometimes is well we've built a two million dollar home and we're not going to put a forty dollar threshold on the main door where the door alone could be several thousand dollars i'm partial to Dorbin, and here's why they are a company that that occupies a fairly petite footprint meaning they do what they do and they focus on that and they do that very well and that's weather stripping uh, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up the full line Dorbin product catalog and review all things Dorbin weather stripping related that's number one number two uh, industry leading ship times and it's also based on a family experience of several decades of uh, distributing uh, Dorbin weather stripping me and uh, family prior if you have any questions on the Dorbin 57D dark brown aluminum interlocking threshold or any other Dorbin product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.